who won't who will be limited? Uh, Draymond, Kenny Young, Melvin, Bobby, Kareem, Teddy, obviously, and Shamar won't practice today. The other guys will be limited. And Teddy, Teddy won't play in the game this week. You made it sound like he'll practice, though. Who? Teddy. You just said. No, he won't play in the game. Okay, you just said limited. I just no, no. I said Teddy, then Shamar, and then the rest of okay. them are limited. Okay. Do, do you think Teddy will be available um, after the Raiders game for the, the last two games? I think it's possible. I mean, whatever is best for his health moving forward is what we'll do. Is it a matter of him clearing the protocol, or given that it's a t second concussion of the year, will there be kind of other factors that go into it? Yeah, we'll consider everything, you know, based on the medical advice and medical opinions. But whatever's best for him, you know, is what we'll do. Does I, Drew have a chance, to, if he plays good enough, um, to, to remain the starter, even if Teddy does clear protocol and, is, and could come back? Uh, Teddy's our quarterback, you know, and if Teddy's healthy, he'll be the quarterback. Will the practice squad quarterback uh, isolate like you had with Rippon last yeah. year? Yeah. Quarantined. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he'll be out on the practice field. Right. But zooming in and the whole thing. Given, given the opposite win, Alex, you have a chance to put up such a huge game for Watt. How do you have him balance that it's a huge game, but trying not to do too much, which kind of has a tendency to be an issue? Yeah, I think he'll be better at that. Um, you know, getting a whole week of practice, taking all the reps there, or getting the bulk of the reps, um, going through the experience he's gone through this year, um, coming in, you know, midstream during a game. I think those will all work to his benefit to avoid that. How do you think uh, Callahan played getting so many reps the other day? What kind of challenge does he have against Renfro? I thought he played good the other day, you know, for his first action back. Uh, you know, I'm not sure how many games he missed, but um, I thought he did well. And, and Renfro is a super slot. No, he um, he's really tough to cover, really quick. He's a favorite of cars. Um, they have good karma together. Yeah, it's a it's a tough assignment. Have they been going to him more without Waller? Uh, a little bit, yeah, probably a little bit more. But the other guys have, you know, Moreau's come in and replaced, done a good job replacing Waller. Going you, back to the training camp uh, when you had the back quarterback competition you were you know it was even Steven and all that 50 50 what what was it about Drew that had you thinking maybe he should be the guy you know every now and then I thought he had a good camp you know we split the reps pretty evenly as you know and I thought he had a good camp it showed in the preseason games that he played in and I think with this week's worth of practice Hopefully we'll see the guy that we saw in camp and in preseason games. When you play a team for the second time, what, what's the game planning like? Are there advantages? Are there challenges when you see a team for the second time in a season? Um, you know, there's so much time has elapsed since the first game. You know, it's not like um, you've played them two weeks ago or something. So, um, you know, and teams change midstream and during the season some. So I don't see it quite, you know, to what you're alluding to as if it had been closer together. Uh, Renfrey calls him a super slot. Do you put him in the same category as the Wes Welkers or Brandon Sokers or people like that? Yeah, I do. They, uh, they're announcing the Pro Bowl tonight. How much does it matter to you that guys are recognized and is anybody you think deserving with that? Yeah, I'd love to see as many guys as we can get on there. I think, um, I think for sure Justin Simmons will be on there. He made it last year and he's had a better season this year. I think Pat Sertan is certainly deserving of it. Javante and Melvin, our two backs, are certainly deserving of it. And we have other guys that are deserving of it. And I'm looking forward to having some representation. Justin said a few days ago that uh, Pat Sertan is somebody he doesn't even have to worry about this side of the field. How rare is that to have a guy, especially a young guy as a rookie, that you don't even have to think about his side of the ball? Well, he's, so, he's, he's got a good mental approach to the game in that he takes one play at a time. He's into it. He's competitive. Um, you know, he's not your normal rookie, and we've said that from the start, and he keeps getting better and better. You think, I know Micah Parsons is sort of getting a lot of the love, but do you think Pat deserves defensive rookie of the year? I do. You know, he's um, played a very hard position, one that's um, hard to find quality players at, and he's done a great job, and he's definitely 
very deserving of Rookie of the Year or any honor that could come his way. How, uh, how disappointing was it to lose Bassey? Yeah, it was disappointing. You know, we, as you guys know, we have an overabundance of defensive backs right now. And when you have to make a roster move, you know, sometimes at this point in the season, you have to roll the dice and hope you get the guy back. But we didn't. And part of the reason we didn't was, you know, there's coaches there that were around him. So, um, but I wish Bass nothing but the best. And uh, I'll be rooting for him, except when he plays against us. You have uh, updates on the. Yeah, they're back. Okay. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you.